So with the demise of manufacturing in Australia of motor vehicles, Ford and Holden, I lost uh, a lot of interest in our local racing and this is the nail in the coffin. This cheating has just ended any interest I had in Australian motor racing now and I don't follow the Grand Prix so I'm not I'm not going to be following motor racing at all anymore the only motor racing I'll be following is Gay Electric that I'll be doing of my own on the on the tracks and still be buying the the Sky Electric or any other manufacturers of Australian motor vehicles, slot cars, but you know, this is what happens when you get in bed with the Yanks, you know, just cheating bastards. So I will never ever go to watch motor racing again in this country and I won't be watching it on TV either as you know I'm not Well we've managed to find the radio from that moment let's take a listen Hey mate, there's going to be another safety car soon. What can I do? Safety car board right. Safety car board right. Slow down, slow down. Yeah, Bruce. Yeah, Bruce. Yeah, Bruce. Double stack. Box this lap. Then we stay out, mate. Guys up in the last corner. 27 to go. Maybe it's going stupidly slow. Maybe it's going stupidly slow. 20 seconds double stack. Caution, I don't know where the incident is. 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 Slow down. Slow down. Get extreme caution. I think it's on a mountain somewhere. Slow down. Extreme caution. Yeah, maybe it's just a penalty for that. So it's stupidly close. Extreme caution. They still have not told us where the safety car is. Race control have not told us. It's a box is left. The box is left. Staying in the car. Okay, maybe it needs a penalty as well. That was shocking. Yep. That was shocking. Absolutely pathetic. You know, Dick Johnson should have... If he was involved in this, that's just... Ridiculous. But, so, so goes it. They made that decision. I'm only one person, but I'm sure I'm not the only one that feels this way. Motor racing in Australia is dead.